Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at UV Checker Map Maker. This is a beautiful tool that is made available by Valet. I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you right over here where you can start working with it. Now, this is made purposely for those that are working with UVs. Most times you would like to see how your UVs look like. You don't want to go in with all that gray stuff. You want to be able to have all of those numbers. You want to tell where your textures are, how the textures will be flowing when you start doing your texture painting and all that stuff. Now, this tool that he has made is a very wonderful and customizable one, which you can use to do a lot of cool things, okay? Now, despite the fact that you can change the colors from here, which is extremely nice, and I love the idea that we do have these colors and you can tweak them to your own liking, depending on what you want to get. So let's say for sections like this, you would like to change it to maybe red, and maybe you'd like to change this other one to a given color. This just makes sense. And another thing that you would notice is there is some sort of orderliness. We have this number traveling from A0 to B1 to C2 to D3 all the way down. The same thing happens here. And he has just found a way to make this thing extremely useful. Despite that, if you like to tweak the dimensions and also tweak the corners, depending on how the borders would look like, you can still do that. So if you like to increase the dimensions from here, and if you like to play with the corners, you can also get some very cool rounded corners and also a beveled version of your corners as well. There is also the butter thickness, which is also very great for lots of people. And you can also play with your opacity depending on what you want to create. In terms of opacity right here that deals with the microgrid, which you're going to find around here, this is also something that you can tweak to your liking. So it's uh, very interesting to see that there is a tool that looks like this, although currently still in beta, but it's very interesting to see that there's a tool that looks like this that you can actually work with. So contrary to just working with those black and white images, this is beautiful. Right here is where you can play with the text, so you can change the weight of the text. You can also choose to change the size of the text and you can play with the font style. So he has gone through and made this extremely customizable and it is super cool. And once you're done, you can simply hit on the download button. For this case, I'm just gonna go with a simple normal. I kind of like the way that this looks, looks pretty nice. Click on 2K, this is the one we want, and download it. And once this is downloaded, we can pump a brand new app and start testing this. In this case, we're going to take a look at Maya and see how you can apply that right here. By default, once you're doing your texturing and you simply click on your UV editor, you get to see our UV editor pops right here and you can start doing some stuff. By default, once you're working in Maya, working in Blender, you'll be able to preview these things with the checker map. So this checker map actually tells you how much texture details you'll be getting on a model. So the bigger these things are, the less detail you'll be getting. So in this case, if I scale this down, you can see right here, the bigger these things are, the less details you'll be getting and the smaller they are, more details you'll be getting. So it's more like a, a quality assurance thing in two ways, which means that you can tell how much textures you'll be getting on a particular surface, and at the same time, what is the movement of these textures on a given surface. So this is going to guide whoever that is doing the texturing. So with this done, what we need to do is turn this off because we don't want that, and we would simply right-click, select this object, Go over to Hypershade. So if you click on this button right here, you can go over to Hypershade from there, or you can click on Window. Go all the way to where you have your rendering, and then you can jump over to Hypershade. But in this case, we do have a panel layout. So I'm just gonna click right here, and then I would select one, go over to where we have our panels, and switch this one over to Hypershade. So now that we have this, all we need to do is load up that image. So this image that we downloaded, we're just gonna click, drag, and drop right here where we have our hypershade and then we can wire this over to the color and once we do that and turn on the materials you can now see how this looks go over to where you have your place to the texture select your attribute editor go right here where you have repeat and you can repeat this let's say we repeat this five by five actually let's do that five by five and you can start seeing that we have this sort of consistency going through so in this way you now have a much more presentable model which you can give out to anyone and they can tell how your textures are going to be flowing once they start texturing this or once you start texturing this. So another example that we have going on here is this. If I go in and press H on the keyboard to hide this and turn this one open, we do have this um, hyena looking head. So this was sculpted in 
ZBrush looks pretty nice and if I go in and select this object and then click so simply load up the input and output hit on this button and that comes out we can click drag drop and then wire these from here over to the color and you can see what we have I mean by just doing that and going over to the play studio node clicking on attribute editor we can tell so I'm just gonna go in and set this to the same thing five by five so you can tell how this works and the model which we're looking at is actually UV in a UDIM form so this also applies to UDIMs and also applies to just typical you know one set UV type so this is a uh, pretty pretty nice for anyone who like to test this thing out probably you're into UV you're into you know presenting your uvs you don't want to use checkers anymore you want something that is a bit more stylized you need something that is a bit more personalized to your taste then maybe you should consider taking a look at this beautiful tool so this is more like it the uv map checker is here or the uv checker map maker is here currently this is in beta so you can go in test this try it out now i don't know if this is going to be paid later on if it's going to be a paid tool or paid service but right now it's for free so you can go in test it out and you can download from 1k all the way to 8k and that is a whole lot of things that you can do with this now this is made available by valet and i think this is going to be free for a very very long time because there's a donate button which simply means that you can donate whatever you think you can give to him in terms of helping him run the service and at the same time help him develop even more cooler stuff a huge shout out to the creator and as well a huge shout out to the community for making this possible tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with your tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace